YouTube channel on there. We'd like to suggest a good question. Number one, in verses 1 and 7. But as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound adultery. In all things, showing yourself to be a pattern of a good works. In doctrine, showing integrity, reverence, and craftability. What do these mean? And what can we learn from here? Question 2 in verse 13. Looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. What does it mean and how can we apply it to our lives? In verse 14. Who gave himself for us that he might to redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. What does it mean especially to redeem? And how can we apply it to our lives? Paul wrote this letter to Titus, leaving Titus to appoint the elders and bishops in Crete Island in Titus chapter 1 verses 5 to 7. For this reason I left you in Crete, that you should accept in all that the things that are lacking and appoint the elders in every city as I commanded you. If a man is blameless to husband of one wife, having faithful children, not accused of dissipation or insubordination, for bishop must be blameless as a steward of God, not suffer words, not quick tempered, not given to wine, not violent, not greedy for money. In the last time, in Titus chapter 1, verse 16, they profess to know God, but in the works they deny Him, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. They are come by themselves the knowledge of God, or patient God, but their works or our lives are against God. They are hated by God, disobedient to, to God, and unlike the Christians, as Christ did good. So, their words to profess are inconsistent with their works. Verse 1, But as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine. You are tied to sound doctrine is a doctrine of Christ, who is God the Savior, in verse 10. That is the old scriptures, or the Bible, because the scriptures testify of Christ. So the prophet things are the words of God in the Bible. A typical example of the principles of doctrine of Christ grounded on the gospel is the Apostles' Creed in 390 AD, John 5, 39. You search the scriptures, for in them, scriptures, or in the Bible, you think you have eternal life, and these, what the Bible scriptures, are these scriptures which testify of me, testifies of Christ. Here in chapter 6, 1 and 2, therefore, leaving the principles of doctrine of Christ, or sound of doctrine, or doctrine of Christ, same meaning. Let us go on uh, to perfection or maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from death words and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptism, plural, world baptism, spirit, 
baptism and of laying on of hands and resurrection of death. This one is God's resurrection of death. It's just death and resurrection and of eternal judgment. First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 to 4, this definition of gospel. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you receive it, and in which you stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold of us that word which I preach to you, so preach the word, the word is the gospel. Gospel is the word of God. Unless you believe it in vain, for I deliver to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, according to the Bible, that he was buried, and that he rose again the dead day, according to the scriptures. So this one you may click on, you may see uh, Apostles uh, uh, Thus, Paul wrote to Titus to teach it by the word of God, not crafted or powerful to teach the word in the Bible, as a guide for our lives. So don't be afraid of fancy words such as the mythology about the spirit, anthropology about society and cultures, sort of, uh, soteriology about salvation as a about the final destiny of a soul, because those are references to make understand the sound doctrine. To search it through the internet is a good method. Second Corinthians chapter 17. For we are not as so many pardon or corrupt the word of God by the edge of sincerity, but as from God who speak in the sight of God in Christ. See verse seven, showing yourself to a pattern of a good uh, word, then meaning you show an example, that is be a good example. Therefore Paul exhorted the Titus to teach it by his word and by good Two to ten, various uh, four groups of uh, people in Crete Island. All characters are Jesus characters being built by the word of God and the Holy Spirit. First group, all the men. All the men is of reverent, temperate, sound in place, in love, in patience. So not affected by alcohol or not intoxicated. Reverend, respectable for someone, respectable someone, uh, temperate, self-restraint, for example, Christian liberty to be properly restrained or controlled, uh, for example, the myth, the myth which was offered to idols, first quarter chapter 6, 12, all things are lawful for me, all things are not helpful, all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. First quarter chapter 13, therefore, if a poor makes my brother stumble, I will never uh, again admit, lest I make my brother stumble. So basically think about, you know, other conscience. Sound in the face, undisturbed faith, unshaken faith, peace calmed by hearing, by the word of God, Romans chapter 10, 17. Love, it is a lot of love, or unconditional divine love, as the fruit of the spirit, patience, endurance, or long suffering, evident character of a lot of love, these special characters are needed for the old man uh, believers. This is the old man, old man believers. That is 32 five older women. The uh, uh, second. Second, the older women likewise reverence not slanders, not be speakers of bad words against someone, not even 
too much wine. I'll be drinking with much of the tin tin. Let us work proper liberty properly as in the day, not in lovely or drunkenness, not in the rudeness and loss, not in strife and envy. Ephesians five eighteen and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation. But be filled with the Spirit. <clears throat> Teachers of good thing as it follows in verses 4 and 5. Since God created man and woman in order, women may teach his word to women and children, not adult man, or not the church, including the adult man, in the sight of God. First Timothy chapter 2, uh, 12, 14. I do not permit women teaching or to have adult over a man, adult man, but to be in silence. For Adam was formed first and Eve, and Adam was not deceived by the women, being deceived or fell into transgression. First Corinthians 14, 34, 35. Let your women keep silent in the churches, for they are not permitted to speak. But they are to be submissive, as the law also said, if they want to learn something, let them ask their own husbands at home, for it is a shameful of a woman to speak in church. So here the older women are teaching the young women in verses 4 and 5. <clears throat> that they would demolish one or correct or rebuke the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, a lot of love to her husbands and children, only through the Spirit of God in the relationship between church and the Lord. Ephesians 5 20, 20, why we submit to your own husbands as to the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be their own husbands in everything. Husbands love your wife just as Christ also loves the church and gave himself for grace. Verse 5, to be discreet, discreet meaning careful, or not offensive, chaste, pure, homemakers, homemakers of wife who manages home well, Proverbs chapter 31, 27, she watches over the ways of the, her households, and does not eat the bread of idleness. So basically, the working, homeworking, then taking some well, diligently, uh, then obedient to their own husband. Husband also should love their own wives, just as Christ gave himself for church. So, obey obedience. Obedience to husbands. The word of God not be blasphemed. No one will speak of bad words against the word of God. So, for sex, likewise, exhort the young man to be sober minded. So, encourage the young man, the dirt group young man now, sober minded, not affected by alcohol, not intoxicated. For sex, in all things, showing yourself. To be a part of good works. This one is King James said it's an uh, example, uh, a part of a good work. King James says example. Be, to be a good example. See about, all, see about verse 1. Teach by his word and by good example. Paul's example to elders in Ephesus uh, for two years. Book of Acts chapter 20. 
you know, from the first day that I came to Asia, in what manner I always lived with workers among you, giving example, serving the Lord with all humility, with the many tears and trials which happened to me by the party of the Jews, how I kept the back, nothing that was helpful, but proclaimed it to you and taught to you publicly and from house to house, testifying to Jews and also to Greeks, in contents to the God and face to it, our Lord Jesus Christ. For I have not shown to declare to you the whole counsel of God. So, our Lord Jesus Christ, in doctrine, in the sound doctrine, in verse 1, integrity, between the honest, or a righteousness to the Lord, reverence, respect for some don't despise your summa, incorruptibility, minister, not for dishonest king, Prince Peter 5, 2, shepherd the flock God, uh, which is among the serving and overseas, not by compulsion, but willing, not for dishonest king, but eagerly. Eight, the sound of speech, undisturbed, unshaken speech, from the sound doctrine, sincerely in the sight of God, they cannot be condemned, nobody can criticize, Titus, that one who is an opponent may be ashamed, having nothing evil to say of you, so that your opponent cannot say evil words against you, being reprimanded in the public. <laughs> Not being, not being reprimanded in the public. He joined the bond servants to be obedient to their own masters, to be well pleasing in all things, not answering back. The first group, the servants, master relationship is developing today to employ e employ a relationship obedient to their own masters to pleasing in all things obey to masters to please in all things or in all working matters obey them how to read it to the Lord not to men Colossians chapter twenty three not answering back not talking back or not murmuring verse ten not uh pilfering not stealing but showing all good fidelity, faith of less, that they may adorn the doctor of God, our Savior, in God, in all things. So that masters may be attractive to the doctor of Christ, who is God, our Savior, or to the solid doctrine in all working matters. So masters might believe God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Verse 11, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, and not the forgiven gifts by God, salvation appears. Opportunity of salvation is given to everyone by the grace of God. First John 2.2, 2, and himself is the propitiation, sacrifice for our sins, not only Christian sin, not for ours only, but also the whole world, everyone. John chapter 2, for God so loved the world, world everybody, he gave his only begotten son, we have to live it, that is your uh, live required, outside your free will, believe, except him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. <laughs> Verse 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lost, teaching us the grace of God to bring salvation, teaches us uh, denying ungodliness and worldly lost. We no longer live for ourselves by flesh, such as ungodliness and the world of the lost. We should live a soberly, righteously, godly in present age. We should live by the Spirit, such as not intoxicated life, life by faith, life like Christ, the God in the present time. 
Second Corinthians 5, 15. And he died for all. And those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Romans 8, 14. For as many as are alive by the Spirit of God, in the sons of God, or children of God. Galatians 2, 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I will live, but Christ to live with the inner the life of which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Just in looking for the blessed hope. Every believer is looking for a blessed hope for eternal life. Oh, I have a blessing life. God just want you. The hope of eternal life, that's a blessed hope. Which God who cannot lie promised the people time began. First John 5, 11, 12. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. While I've loved to lie, this life is in his son. He who has the son has a life. He who does not have the son of God does not have a life. John chapter 14 to verse 16. And as Moses lived out the serpent in the wilderness, even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up, that we have to live in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that we have to live in him should not, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Titus to reset, that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So blessed all for eternal life. Glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Savior Jesus Christ, the God, is appearing in glory, looking for Jesus to return at any moment. May give us number one sense of urgency to preach or to teach it. the word, teach it, uh, by word and by example. Number two, a proper view of a maturity for his kingdom righteousness of first. We treat maturity as a light as a possible. Number three, purity in life. Matthew chapter 6, 33. I uh, said first the kingdom of the righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. First John 3, 2, 3. Beloved, now we are the children of God. It has not yet been revealed what we shall be, but we know that. When he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he. And everyone who has his hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. Verse 14, the last question, who gave himself for us, gave his life as a ransom for us. His death on the cross we brought here to pay off for all our sins. Mark 10, 45. For even the Solomon did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many, for all of us. That he might redeem us from every glorious deed, purify his own special or peculiar people, show us for good work, so that he might pay off our everything and purify us as his own special people to do good works jealously or actively. Here to redeem means not only to pay off our sins, but also to become his own people. That is from our relationship with God to our peace relationship with God. Ephesians 2 and 3. He made a life who had died in trespass and sins, which you once walked or lived according to the course of this war, according to the prince of the power of the air the Spirit, who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature to the wrath just as others. Verse 15, 
with the disadvantage, the joy, and the book with all authority, let no one despise you. So pick a disadvantage, speak a disadvantage in the sound doctrine. So pick a by his word, preach to unbelievers, and teach to believers. In joy, in courage, the book cries with all authority. All authority belongs to Christ, of whom the Bible testifies. Within the scope of the sound doctrine, Matthew 28, verse 18, all authority to Jesus. A similar instruction to Timothy by Paul is so applicable to every word minister. Second Timothy 4 2, preach the word. Be read in season and out of season, convince, persuade, or rebook, crack, exhort, encourage with all long suffering, patience, and teaching. Critic. Let no one despise you as long as you teach it, not only by word, but by example. Your teaching word is consistent with your life or work. You do not be despised unlike the Jews who profess God, but deny in words in the vast practice of chapter 116. A similar instruction to Tom Timothy, first Timothy for twelve, let no one despise your youth, but be example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in peace, in courage. So you should be gentle. We come to the three professions, so let's just sing all together the bulletin, the last song, the last song, page 76.